think it's most important to see the development of the labor market from the two mega trends. One is demography, which goes different in different countries. And second was is technology. Think of just the opposite effects. You know, technology may cause uh, some people losing their jobs, but it's not really true. They create new jobs. Who knows which type of jobs? This is quite complex and question. But at the same time, demography is uh, uh, doing aging of the populations, and at the same time, lowering the productivity. People are not able to learn as much as fast, so we need a uh, dividend div from demography. So this is why migration is also happening. And migration has some net effects which uh, could be generally good for the economy. Uh, if there is so-called uh, used uh, smart migration policies. So in fact, we are facing a big challenge in front of us where employment is a key question. At the same time, another question is relates to inequalities, relates to the dignity of job, frustration of people who need a different type of social contracts in different societies, depending on different traditions. So we're looking at big challenges all worldwide, and those challenges are emanating to, to the economy. And, and the social issues are becoming more and more about the economy. It's not about helping the losers to the get the jobs and providing with some goodies, you know, so they can survive. It's about having the work to be the crucial part of development for the economies. So this is why we need private business to engage with governments and engage with academia as well to get a meaningful skills, to get more productivity and of course then you have the winners the countries who would use those policies to implement uh, the best solutions based on the best practices.